set. Oh, good set. That's a good set. Break. Good morning, YouTube. My name is Will. Enzo. Lotus. Oh, gonna get a little fog on the on the lens here. Let's uh, just try to fix that. All right, that's better. So no video would be complete without a park trip. If this is your first time stopping in. As I mentioned, my name is Will. These are my two German Shepherds. And we do a lot of vlogs and tip videos around German Shepherds. I say we, my wife, she makes appearances from time to time. And she also does uh, a big part of the live streams that we do just about every single week, so on Saturdays. But today's video, obviously you saw the title. It's one of the biggest questions that we get asked a lot, and that is the puppy biting. How do you stop the dreaded puppy biting? So if you've never had a puppy, you don't maybe know this. Puppies are born with basically shark teeth, I think. I think that's what they are. That or little mini razor blades. Because those things are sharp. So while they can't bite you very hard, it still really hurts because it's just so freaking sharp. So I understand why so many people reach out and ask us these questions. We go explore some. I don't think we've been to this part of the park. So this is the Vu Park. This is actually in Kentucky. Uh, we've been to this kind of section of the park. We've been on that side of the, I don't know what that is. It's for like outdoor concerts and events. We've been on that side of the field. Never been back here though. I see this is the muddy section. So maybe this is why we don't come back here. So I've done uh, a few videos on puppy tips and things to know when getting a German Shepherd puppy. A lot of it is specific to the breed, but it also, wow, it's sun. It also covers a lot of most dogs. I bring that up because while we are gonna cover the puppy biting, definitely I'll link some of those up above and in the notes, definitely check out some of those as well. Some of those are gonna be a lot longer, a lot more in depth. Uh, because they're covering multiple topics where this is just the one topic today. Uh, but I bring that up because as you saw, the sun is now out. It is officially summer. We're trying to get here early, stay in the shade uh, before the humidity hits. We have to deal with humidity, so that is a huge problem. It's like in the winter, we don't go to the park too long because I get cold. And in the summer, we don't go to the park too long because they get hot. We just, we, I don't know, we need to live somewhere else. Yeah, stay in the trees, stay in the shade. Yeah, yeah, so much nicer in the shade. First, you have to remember that they're a puppy. I mean, you're, you're dealing with like an infant or a toddler age. You know, while they certainly can be trained and you can teach them a lot, you definitely can at, you know, when you first get them, shouldn't be more than, sooner than eight weeks, but when you first get them, you could definitely start from day one teaching them small things, but just have the right expectations is what I'm trying to get at. Um, First and foremost, puppies, they need to chew. No, we're not going hiking today. It rained all day last night. Nope, not gonna happen. So they need to chew. That is partly why they, they bite and nibble at you. So when Lotus was a puppy and when Enzo was a puppy, one of the things my wife and I did is we carried two things with us almost 24 seven. And that was small chew toys and small treats. Now the treats are not for when they bite you, but the small chew toys are. So that is one thing. Uh, it, Cause they could just be biting at you because they just, they're teething. I mean, they need to chew. Offer them an alternative. This will also help save your furniture and your shoes and your belongings. Speaking of shoes and belongings, pick all that stuff up, don't have it out. You're just asking for them to chew on that. Puppies will chew on, hey, hey, hey. Puppies will chew on whatever is closest. They don't care. Um, so don't give them opportunity to chew your shoes or socks or whatever. Um, so we would always have the chew toys and we'd have a lot of them. We'd have them around the house. 
Um, we'd have, a, you know, when, whatever room we were in with the puppy, which, again, watch my puppy tips video. They shouldn't be wandering the house. But whatever room we were in, we'd make sure we had at least a couple of them because just like humans, not every toy is going to interest every puppy. Um, one puppy may love this toy, but another one might not. So definitely experiment first. And then have multiple options, though, still, because sometimes they may want one or the other. Enzo's always kind of gravitated towards softer toys. Uh, Lotus has always kind of gravitated more towards the harder toys. That said, they both love antlers, which are hard, and they both do love soft toys. So that's something that every pup's gonna be different. You're just gonna have to experiment and find out. But have multiple toys around, have at least, once you figure out which one they like the best, get a couple of them, have one in your pocket at all times, and give them an alternative. Getting too hot? Oh, it's already getting too hot. They're staying in the shade when possible. Are you, are you going on stage? You got a performance? Oh, main act. Yeah, it's just too hot, boys. I've only been here not even a half an hour. So point number two. While having a toy nearby and toys around is certainly helpful, absolutely, strongly, strongly should do that. You also wanna teach them that it's not acceptable behavior. This is where expectations come into play and you know, understanding that they're not gonna get this in one day. Um, and depending on how young they are, you know, it's gonna take a while and it's just gonna be one of those things. So, I mean, just set your expectations, be consistent, but be patient. Yeah. So as litters, what happens is when they're playing around, they're rough housing. If one of them does something that hurts the other one, they will do a high pitch like scream. Do like an ouch, like ouch, like really high pitch. Well, they don't say ouch, but like it's, it's like a cry and it's real high pitched. That lets them know that, okay, hey, I've crossed the line, that's too hard, I need to be easier. So as humans, we have to do the same thing. So if they bite at you, it doesn't help to yell or scream at them. You just wanna do a quick, high pitched, like yelp. You wanna mimic what they do. My wife's way better at it, so maybe I'll insert a clip of her doing it right now. You just have to say it in a high pitched voice. Yeah. Ouch. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, she's way better at it. So anytime they do that, you wanna pull your hand back and, and make that noise, scream, you know, just a quick high pitch. Ouch! That teaches them that that's not acceptable. Ouch! How did you get slobber on your head? What do you mean you don't know? How's the muddies going? Yeah, a little bit, more than I would have liked to be honest. What are you doing? You gonna do have a head tilt, Lotus? Oh, I know you'll do the head tilts, Enzo. Head tilt? Oh, that's a good boy. Head tilt? I know you're still head tilting. Lotus, head tilt? Hmm, maybe later. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Hey boys, can't see over this hill. Oh. Huh. Okay. I don't even know if there was a road there or what. I think we've been to this part though. I don't remember it connecting like that. Do you remember? I am gonna be doing a summer tips video here very shortly, probably in the next week. So keep an eye out for that. Where we'll go over things like the heat and the humidity and things to watch out for. No, oh, not going off-roading. Lotus, come. Thank you. I know, I'm sure there was something super exciting out there.
Sit. Oh, good set. That's a good set. Break. Oh, good boys. Yeah, I got the waters. Lotus got the slobbers in more places. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Watch your ears. Watch the ears. All right. Good boys. Yeah, good boys. All right, back at the house. Boys are checking out our next door neighbor, Gus. But we are going to talk about point number three. And point number one, you know, with the tr with the toys is super helpful. Point number two with teaching them is obviously the best way to do it. Point number three is kind of like the most effective, at least for in my experience. All right, let's talk about the third and final tip. Sorry if you can hear the uh, construction in the background. I, I don't know what he's doing. All right, one of the things we always suggest is always have a puppy on a leash or on a collar. Always have them wear a collar. This is good for a lot of reasons, but a lot of times it's just so you can grab them for safety. Uh, but anytime they're doing anything that you don't want them to do, any behavior, whether it's biting or anything really, um, it's pretty simple. You know, you grab them, you don't be mean or anything like that. You gently push them down on the back, very gently, they'll, they'll understand. And you hold them here for a few seconds. Now, the younger they are, the shorter this time frame. The older they are, the more you let. Oh boy. Um, and then you let them go. I mean, we're talking in the beginning, a few seconds maybe, three, four, five seconds, and then you let them go. And if they go back to the behavior, you grab them, you gently set them back down again, and you do it again. <laughs> what this does is, you know, they want to be free. They want to be able to have fun and do what they want to do. And if you keep stopping them from doing that, Eventually, they will coordinate that to, hey, every time I do this behavior, really? Every time I do this behavior, they make me stop and sit. And I don't want to stop and sit. I want to have fun. I want to play. So it really won't take long for them to catch on that if I do that behavior, they're going to make me stop and sit. All right. I don't, I'm afraid how loud that is, even with the mic and everything. So come on, boys. Get some food. Yeah. Oh, that's a good dinner. Yeah, that good. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some usefulness out of it. Stay tuned for a uh, summer tips video that will be coming soon. So hit the subscribe button to follow along. Otherwise, any questions you guys have, please leave them below. We'll be happy to go over them. Lotus, you got anything to say? You got anything to say? He would normally say hit the bell to get the notifications, but he's a little uh, mouthful right now. Enzo, how about you? Did you eat all the food? Oh, you've got more on your nose than in your mouth, buddy. I'll see you guys later. Ouch! Oh yeah, I forgot. I need the, the sound. I don't know how to make it. Like the though. ouch sound. I, just, I know, but like, yeah, I just, just do, do it. it how you do it. Just do it how you do it. No. It's really not that complicated. Ouch! Oh, savoring those cookies. Those need to be dried out, but I can't reach the paper towel. Those cookies for dessert, huh? Yeah.